Look like today, maybe the defense got a little bit better than the offense. Um, yeah. I guess, is that your feeling? And kind of how do you feel about that back and forth between those two sides through well, spring so far? It's what you want. You know, I did think they did um, have a little bit of an edge to them today. And probably if you go through March film, it'll show up. But uh, um, still, it was our second day in pads. So uh, still a lot of teaching, still installing. First day working on some third downs. So I uh, thought that part was really productive. But yeah, it's just a continual process. Uh, there's been back and forth with both sides of the football. Uh, we don't, didn't need to be live goes. We're going to be in full pads on Saturday, have some live goes with that. So uh, it's just a constant process of, of getting better. So I really uh, like where we are, but let's just keep working. I think you probably don't talk too much about the formations, but mm -hmm. in having Jalen and Josh, some flexibility at running back, it seems like maybe there's some opportunities to have them both on the field, in the backfield, and create some some conflict situations. At the yeah, time. there's no question. It's uh, the reality of just getting your best players on the field, you know, and uh, we got uh, some talented running backs, and Jalen has proved that he can do a lot of special things with the ball in his hand, especially in space, and so we want to maximize that so that will look a little different in some ways and, and uh, just try and find creative ways to get him the football. Camp Camper back into, like, practice and getting throws to him. Yeah, I think there's always going to be a progression with that. You know, I think just uh, getting you know, the, the comfortability with receivers, timing with receivers, uh, that's something that doesn't just happen, you know, quickly. Uh, that's going to be all through spring and your summer, all the, all the sessions they'll have you know, even together when they throw with each other in the summertime and then uh, into, into fall camp. So uh, without question, you know, and Cam's doing a phenomenal job. We were talking about him yesterday. He just is not surprised, but uh, his mindset and his rehab has been impressive, and it just has to continue, and I know it will. And, uh, but, yeah, those guys obviously haven't had a chance to connect and throw together, so that will happen, you know, really more in the summertime. How have you seen Donovan McCauley kind of take advantage of having yeah, that I thought lead? He made some more plays today. He's been in it every day he's made plays, you know, and so and that's what I expect. We've had some really good heart-to-hearts about it, and, and uh, he knows where he, where he wants to be and where I believe he can be, and, and uh, it's just having to continue to growth at that position and learning it and uh, being able to just, you know, find a way to get open and make plays and then, uh, you know, go score the football. Kind of sticking with the wide receivers, what sticks out about those redshirt freshmen now, Omar Cooper, Cameron Perry, some of those guys that have had a year under the belt? Yeah, I tell you, I, I think both those guys that uh, you saw them today make plays, especially Omar. Um, he's been consistent with that, you know, and Cam is, is so dynamic and explosive. Uh, see him as a guy to be able to be in, in that slot position there in, in multiple ways to once again get him the ball as well. But uh, yeah, those guys have made progress uh, like they needed to, but it's just a continual growth has to be there. And, it's, and I'm looking for consistency every day and maturity when you go from being a true <coughs> freshman now to a redshirt freshman. Uh, but it's still Omar's first spring ball, you know, and so coming to us in the summer last year, and uh, that does make a difference. And so uh, just learning how to practice in this setting, you know, you have 15 days, you're not playing, preparing for a game. They're, 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 there's a grind component to it that you have to work through and uh, we're going to have four straight weeks of Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday now and uh, there, there can be some, you know, you, you want to stress our guys because you want to be able to expose the things and from the mental perspective mostly and then the physical part as well but but uh, and I want those young guys to learn how to do that because it's a, we play obviously a physical long season and you got to be able to produce from day one all the way to the finish. We've asked you about Coach Bostad, but who have you seen on that line that's really responded to the way he pushes them, the way he coaches, the stuff he's asking? Yeah, you know, you, you interestingly, look at some guys. I think Carter Smith's one that jumps out to me. You know, he's obviously a, a guy that uh, was a true freshman, played a little bit, uh, still got a chance to redshirt him. And so um, he's just uh, he's taking the next step, I feel like. I think even some of the older guys that are being coached by a new coach, you know, I think Michael Cakes, one that's really can embrace that part, you know, and he has uh, been here a long time, but and has played a lot of football, but you still want to be able to adapt. And and uh, I think uh, Khalil Benson sticks out to me, you know, and I really uh, and Vinny Fake has been another one that got a little dinged up today. He'll be fine, but uh, um, those those guys have stuck out. Zach Carpenter continues to grow and develop, but what for me is just getting these young guys brought along, you know, and trying to get Josh Sales and and Khalil to, to, to continue to grow and develop and allow us to be able to have the depth that we need to have, and I've really been encouraged by that group. He's doing a great job with them, but, uh, you know, even today when you start, you know, defense starts doing twists and games up front on third downs, you know, that's not easy to pick up, especially when you, you know, present it certain ways. And so uh, we're trying to do our install on both sides of the ball, but at the same time I think that's created some of the challenges today, I think, for the O-line on those third downs. But but uh, we're not scheming each other. You're just trying to use technique and fundamentals. But uh, Coach Bostad, <clears throat> I love the drill work. I love the attention to detail. I love the intensity, the toughness that he's created with our guys. And he's he's no-nonsense guy. I think he's going to see, you know, I'm expecting improvement in that area.
I know you've brought in a handful of guys along the defensive line. Just what are you hoping uh, they can bring to, to that position group, I guess, the defense as a whole, and also maybe challenging the offensive line? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, those the four guys we brought in, um, they've, they've made an immediate difference, uh, not just how they look and how they're physically built, but just how they're able to practice. And, and I think, you know, Linnell Carr's popped again today. He's really done some good things off that edge and has, has a burst that we haven't had at that spot, and that's really good. And, you know, Miles is, is being pushed by him, and he's pushing Miles, so I think it's a really good combination. And, and then Andre Carter at the other side, um, that once again, his, his size and physicality is, sticks out. And then they got the two inside guys with Marcus and, and Philip Phillip. <coughs> he's had a little setback before spring ball, but he's, uh, he'll be back here full bore here soon. But, but uh, yeah, that gives us some depth, without question. Pushes the older guys that are returning. And and uh, I mean, it's where we got to be better, and we knew we'd do that in the offseason and tried to address it in a big way. So I'm just really, you know, I just, like I said, kind of staying back with those young guys. I want to see consistency. I want to see them to be able to bring that energy every week. We're, we're really practicing very physical for those guys, and by design, that's not going to stop. It's going to be physical the whole way through. You're trying to balance that with keeping your guys healthy. So, uh, but there's, uh, you know, there's a the physicality to this game that's, that has to be there, and we know we got to get better at that. What have you seen from your tight end so far? There's a lot of young guys yeah. in that group. Just how have they kind of fit into the offense so far? Yeah, I tell you, it's been, uh, you know, we've got a couple of guys that can only go certain parts of, of practice because of postseason surgeries. And so I uh, haven't got to see all of them yet, you know, but I feel like that uh, the guys we have there, you know, Aaron Steinfeld's a young guy that's want to take that next step as a tight end. And, and uh, you know, even, even uh, Trey Walker is, is coming here. He's put so much time in. He's got himself bigger and stronger. And he's worked so hard. So he's, he's really kind of flashed at times. And, and uh, he's, he's got more physical and got more confident. Uh, you know, and, and Brody Foley is a guy that can do certain things in practice coming off his, his surgery. But he, uh, he's, he's getting better every day. So um, need that room to step up and, and, and get some of those guys back. And so we're going to continue to try and find ways to, you know, make that room a very, very effective room for us. Kind of extending on that, when you're evaluating that position and you want your go-to guy, are you looking for someone who can make plays on offense and be that playmaker, or can be kind of an extension of the offensive line? Well, you know, you kind of have. We, we, we categorize them as inline guys and flex guys, you know. And so the ideal situation is the guy can do both. You know, he can create those explosive plays, and he can move them inside, and then he can block effectively in the Big Ten. And so that's a unique skill set, hard to find, you know. So, but uh, right now we feel like that, you know, Brody kind of gives us the best of both of those, you know. And so, but at the same time, the other guy, you know, Sam West has really kind of been a pleasant surprise to me. I know he's coming here new, right out of high school, was a high school quarterback, really didn't play tight end, uh, and recruited him as a, as a big athlete. He's already gained a lot of weight, a lot of good weight, and uh, moves really well, you know. So just trying to get him brought along and just to the, the physicality of the Big Ten, you know, and playing in that. So to me, we're trying to get, um, you know, you'd like to get the complete package in one guy. Uh, like I said, that's unique, but we do like to use 11 and 12 personnel, you know, and so that gives us a chance to get those guys out there. So, uh, but to me, you know, playmakers, yeah, in an ideal world, that's what you want, you know. The guy, and Peyton was kind of that guy. You know, he could be able to do both in and out of the box, and, and I feel like that uh, that's that's the kind of guy we're looking for. At uh, safety, uh, how have you seen the group developing, and uh, who has stood out? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting position because we don't we lost some experience there without question. But bringing Josh and you know, have him coming back, uh, he's he's done some good things. I think he had a really good uh, mindset adjustment to come and do some things, and uh, we have some good time together to help him with that. And I think Philip Dunn's another one that's uh, played last year as a freshman, and want him to continue to elevate. You know, the guys that have that are new. Um, you know, I think that. Uh, um, you know, Tyreek McDaniels won a guy who he flashed today. You know, he's got good pop to him, and, and uh, he's a good tackler. He's a physical guy, and, uh, um, and, I, and I think that's really what we're looking for at that spot. You know, and I think there's, uh, you know, multiple guys. You know, you know, Bryson Bonds is another one who just he's played a lot of football for us, mostly on special teams. Now he's got to step up and kind of do what Noah Pierre did, you know, take that next step as a, as a safety. What I kind of see at that position is there's not – um, there's a lot of depth there, you know, which is encouraging. And that's why we went out and got some, some new guys. And I and, uh, just feel like that that's uh, a position that we need a lot more guys at that can help us uh, necessarily from the physical part in, in games, but also for special teams. You know, just guys that can help us on those teams and be able to have big physical guys out there that can tackle. So, uh, but uh, um, that's a sp uh, position that I'm really keeping my eyes on. And Coach Greer is our safeties coach, and, and as well as, as, as calling it. So he's doing a great job with that group. I'm going to expect them to keep getting better and better every week. What did you see out of McDaniel that made you think he'd be a fit coming out of Duke? You know, he, uh, he went to his junior college and immediately became a leader. 
he immediately was the guy that, and this is just from you know all, all the homework we did on him. Um, loved his film, loved his physical. We we're looking for trying to find some better tacklers uh, at that position, and he fit the bill on that. And just I just loved his mindset. You know, from the first day I met him, um, just uh, um, has a focus to him, has an edge about him. Um, he uh, he's so um, into what we're doing. Very, very locked in. I mean, he's really done a great job schematically. And we do. We ask those guys to do a little lot back there. And so his film preparation, he comes in extra for, for meeting with our coaches all the time. And uh, that kind of was what I thought I saw in the recruiting process. And obviously he has to live itself out once you get him here. And that's what he's doing. And I think he's going to be a guy who's going to help us. All right. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Have a great day.